Installing a mat well into a floating floor, you need to make sure that this floor, the body of the floor, is free to expand and contract. Is what I can use is the transition from stair rods. It's got the adhesive tape on one side, which I can actually fix to a, a fixed point on this side, and it protects this cut edge, plenty of room for it to move underneath. We can install the floor into the trim so it blends in to the actual floor colour itself, but also gives it a nice tram line finish around the edge of the mat well. So the first thing I want to do is mark up this floor. Just by taking some masking tape, put that along the edge. And then the same down both sides. I can still see the edge of the floor. And as what I've done, I've actually marked this little off cut at around about 10 mil either end. I'll just get that onto the edge, put a mark on that side, and then a mark on this side. And I'll strike those two lines together. Once I've done that, place that mark just again onto the edge of the SPC, Put a mark that side, and the same this side. But I want to create the 45 degree corners, I'll now take the square edge, bring it up to that line, Extend that through. Just use the off cut again to make sure I'm still happy with the amount it needs to expand. The same on this side. So that's where our transition's going to sit. I'm now going to measure these across and get these cut down. Before I actually start measuring and cutting the transition, I'm actually going to install the flooring into it beforehand. we are taking the calipers. Get that to the inlay size required. Then I can use this to mark up the surface. Then using the straight edge, that butt up against that score mark and I'll cut through the wear layer. So as I've scored it, I might want to add just a little bit of heat to make it easier to peel off.
do this one, where I've just started to peel it off, it's got a bit of a damaged edge on it. But again, once I apply heat, that will return to its former shape. those into the trim. So when it comes to marking the trim up, this is my outside edge. So again, making sure that the tape is on the Matwell side. Just going to roughly put that in position for now. Just put some masking tape on, this just makes it easier to, to mark up. Bring up to my pen line. Then mark where those lines cross. I'm going to take the mitre block and I can get these cut down. But with the tape on the back, that's a millimetre thick, so that's actually going to affect the angle this is being cut at. So I'm actually going to use a piece of the actual inlay itself as that's about a mill thick as well that just balances out that size Bring those together, make sure I'm happy with it. Just bring it up to my lines across there and down this side. And we're going to actually secure this mitre now. We'll take some awkward cloth tape. it on the underside. Take off the excess. And make sure we've got a bit of a firm hold underneath. So all that's doing that's holding that together slightly. I'll bring those I'm now going to apply some mitre bond across there. And just carefully bring those together.
and that's just going to help that stay together. Then I'll do exactly the same thing for this side. So that's both mitres done now. I've removed the tape, just bring that back in position and just to double check, make sure I'm happy with it. And now it's a case of getting it fixed into position.